Hello and welcome to another Tableau Advanced Dashboard case study and this is one of those case studies which I teach in my training and another advanced case study like I said so a lot going on in this and I want you to go through this spend some time and try to recreate everything what I'm teaching in my sessions or in my training that will going to help you what an advanced dashboard really looks like and what all goes inside when you create a functional dashboard for your use for your end user who are advanced enough or who are asking for a lot of functionality okay so this case study is about the web marketing data so this is about uh, you have a website and you want to know how the traffic is like for example the sessions the page views the time on page unique page views all those you know important metrics bounces exit page load time so all of those digital metrics which you need or which is usually present in any digital marketing data set and then you have the channel from which channel the traffic is coming the country from which country traffic is coming date on which date you have recorded this uh, session or page views and all device category page title on which page it has come and the source medium like what search search engine or what is the source medium from which it is coming so this is a simple data set just so that you know we can produce a lot of good functionality rather than focusing a lot on a complex data set and uh, we will going to use this so first thing first is where you will find this data set so let me show you so over here this is a data set folder and if I just go inside my data set so here you have the web marketing dashboard right and I will show you where exactly you will going to find that sheet so the link which I usually give is uh, coming to data sets folder and in the data set folders you have the data sets as a sheet not the data set link however you can go and visit this as well this is open but data sets the folder so this is a sheet in which the fourth is basically the web marketing sheet you can click and download this data okay once you have this data then what do you need to do the step number one dynamic dates so what i'm doing is in this you have the latest date as 31st august 2019 and that is something which i'm identifying it dynamically as you can see latest date is basically the formula which i am creating to identify what is my latest date for this data set now how it helps me is basically is to identify based on this date i can identify what is my latest month latest quarter latest year all of that right because it has your month uh, or day or year which if i use it programmatically i can identify whatever i need then what i can do based on my latest date which is 31st august 2019 i can identify my first date of the month which is 1st August 2019 this is also I'm identifying programmatically so that tomorrow if a new month is coming this will change automatically then what I'm identifying based on my latest date only that uh, what is the last month last date reason for this is this is a dynamic behavior with the help of parameter which I'm choosing I want to compare previous month previous quarter or previous year so for previous month it is coming 731 what if, if i choose previous quarter so if i click on previous quarter you can see that all of these values are changing for 831 the previous uh, the first date of the quarter is the first of july rather than first of august and same is the case for the previous quarter not only this you can come over here and change the year and you can see now it is referencing to the previous year which is 2018 and the current year is starting from the 1st of january 2019 so this is a yearly comparison so a lot going on with the help of these dynamic dates which will finally result into your dynamic metrics now let's go to the metrics once you have this date configuration to identify previous month previous quarter previous year all of that we can enable the metrics so a lot of time goes into this it's not very straightforward as you can see coming here to the session part of it what do you have is basically the total session which i'm using the sheet title to produce it what is my total session it is nothing but very simple sum of sessions and uh, but it is changing based on the period that i am selecting right because for current month current quarter it will all be 
changing based on that. And then based on what I am doing the previous period comparison, so it right now it is month, so it is doing a comparison with the last month in, in this case July 2019 versus current month is August. So that means we have increased, the sessions have increased. Now the time on page is also the similar metric where you can see the time on page is 91 second and it has gone down from previous metric. Again, all of these metrics are connected to that parameter which was changing dynamically to month, quarter, year. Similarly, what you have is the page views is also three average page views are three. And then what do you have is it has reduced little bit, which is 3.7% versus July, which you can change it with the compare with the previous quarter, previous year. Then what you have is this session bar chart. Now in this session bar chart, an interesting thing is it is always highlighting this latest month over here, right? Again, one functionality, which, you know, we want to give it just to highlight the latest month and rest of that are gray, which is also a visual way or visual technique to do this. Another interesting thing, which is going over here is this showing this dynamic month. Right now I'm showing 15, but probably let's say 15 is way too much. Your average is also going up. You are let's say want to show last eight months. So it just reduce it and shows you, okay, last eight months looks like this, or you are saying, no, I want to show it from Jan. So maybe I just uh, reduce it from eight to seven and it starts showing it from the Jan and going all the way till August, right? So that is something which uh, is quite dynamic. I can choose 15 or whatever I want. I can choose 15 and accordingly my values will change for bars it will display dynamically and my average will also change so that is something also uh, we are giving as a functionality and i will show you in a dashboard how you can how it is all looking like similar chart you have page view bar chart similarly you have time on page bar chart to show the trend of the information okay then what do you have is this session trend another very interesting chart which is showing you the top five trends and this dynamic di dimension is dynamic as you can see c dot dimension right so uh, if i show you the filter uh, not not this one uh, height card i will show you in the dashboard not here uh, so what it does it it changes these values dynamically so that you can go and choose whatever dimension you have in the mind it shows the trend of dimension from session trend and these two charts are same as you can see, but I, what I want to show you is once you know what is my top five session trend based on the dimension I've selected, you have the session dumbbell as well, which is showing you the actual change from previous month to this month. So previous month you have 684 for France and this month you have 777. So another important thing is I am maintaining the order of this dimension so first is france second is germany same way here i'm not showing the dimension but i want to make sure that this is france uh, this is germany this is india so on and so forth then here you have the biggest change so this basically gives us a lot of uh, interesting visualization as to in the actual values term where the biggest change has happened and once you know where the biggest change has happened in terms of actual values you may also want to give it in sort of percentage value which I am giving it over here. So 13%, 19%, 3.7, 19.8, 16.7, 9 all of these positive or negative change that we are having with the help of the conditional formatting. Similarly, you have, if you have negative change like this, it is highlighted with red. I wanted to make sure that we show this. So going back to, you have session trend, you have page views trend, you have time on page trend. So top five trend, where dynamic dimension is present and dynamic dimension may have the multiple values. And if I show you over here, the dynamic dimension uh, over here, right? P dot dimension. So if I show you the parameter right now, the country is selected, but you have device category. You can ch change country to device category. Let's say if I click, I get, I only have three device category. That's why I'm getting three, but uh, I have source medium a lot, but it is, it will going to give you only top five. Okay. So that is also, and you have many page title, but it will give you the only top five page title. So you can change this dimension dynamically and then get the desired output. So once you have all of this created, right, 
all trend, actual value comparison, previous value comparison and all of that. Finally, what you need, what you are, what I'm doing is with the help of one of the very standard dashboard, you know, which I follow, uh, you know, the, the Zen masters of the Tableau, I'm using the inspiration from there to create this dashboard and the layout where we are showing you the title. And another interesting thing is more like an indication of uh, bell, which is like some highlight, some notification, which is also indicating you this. So I'll show you how I'm creating this or it's, it's quite straightforward. As you can see, you just need this image. And then on top of that, you need this circle, which on a tool tip is showing you the uh, information of your top pages by time on page. If this is what the critical information is, it will show you that. So this is just to make it interactive. Then you have this bar, which is more like a, you know, web page where we are showing what is our KPI. This is our monthly transaction. You can change last number of months from here. I want to show, let's say only 10. I change this to 10 and it changes to 10 and it changes trend over here as well. So you can see, then I, I can change the country to let's say device category. All of this, these three components are changing together. Now you see, I am only giving the value over here, but same value like desktop mobile and all of that. I'm not repeating for this chart or this chart so that it will look like this is a one big combination. And here is a small divider as well. If you observe, there is this gray line, which is indicating that this is one section. This is another section and this is the last section. So this is how, you know, I am going and creating it. So when I have, you know, the dynamic dimension, I can change back to country and all of this is changing to country and then I can change the measure as well. So total session or total page views. So if I change the total page views, this is also changing for uh, measure. So this is where I'm giving the entire dynamic dimension, dynamic measure. Here we are giving the uh, trend, which is monthly and I can make it completely dynamic as I showed you. I can do it monthly trend, I can do it yearly, I can do it quarterly. And then another dynamic feature is how many bars or how many number of months trend I want to show it. So that is something which, you know, you should be able to create it a final dashboard. Again, a lot is going inside creating this dashboard if I show you in the layout because this is not a floating layout, this is a tiled layout and a lot of grouping and combination is going over here to create this advanced sort of a view. So that's a lot which is going inside into this dashboard uh, to create this advanced case study for your end user so that not only it is looking good when your end user is viewing this, but also, you know, yeah, they have a lot of functionality to play around with a lot of power in their hand to change the dashboard as per their needs. So that is something what I wanted to show you. And last thing is maybe these icons, you may be wondering, you can find it in the PowerPoint or you can find it on the Google. Uh, and uh, that's, I think, where I believe I have taken it, if I'm not wrong. So that is something you can take it and create this final dashboard. So hope you will be able to create it. If you need training regarding this and uh, nine other dashboard, which I cover, you can reach out to me and I will take, I will uh, tell you all the details about it. With that, thank you so much. And I'll meet you in the next case study.